What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the cool, amazing, epic YouTube channel. I am most certainly the uh, host of the show slash channel dot 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 so on and so forth guys we're gonna have a most certainly epic and uh, amazing uh show for you guys today uh today we're gonna be doing the cologne uh review and it's gonna be absolutely flipping amazing uh we're gonna be doing the sergio tacchini umo umo you omo i don't know it's something that kind of supposedly means man in Italian, whatever the heck that means. But nonetheless, I got this for probably about ten, eleven dollars uh, via eBay. Uh, not the most impressive of things. Obviously, it looks halfway busted. I mean, you know. I haven't really opened it up all too much. The package that it came in, other than the box itself was something like this so i mean i'm not really impressed with that it's nothing like you know quote unquote off the wall amazing packaging like our mont blanc or the uh, club de nuit but uh you know i checked it out it was like for ten dollars or something like that and uh it was kind of like an old school frag and I was like, let's do it, you know, just for uh, kind of like, you know, something cool to add on to our channel. You know, maybe it might be a hit. Maybe uh, the peeps might like it. Maybe I might like it. Uh, so, you know, I decided to hit it up and I was like, buddy, let's get it and see what the heck is going on with that. So uh, let's see what the heck it is. I don't know if that's really picking up to the to the camera. You know, kind of like a pretty uh, eclectic silver looking bar. Uh, you know, if it wasn't so busted up, it would actually look kind of classy. You know, not all too off the wall. Uh, silver and, you know, kind of like the black thing going on. Uh, Oude Toilettes. This is the 1.7 uh, fluid ounce version, not like our uh, behemoths uh, of the prior... Uh, episodes uh, such as this bad boy which is a 6.7 uh, behemoth but nonetheless back to the Sergio Ticini Ooh, Omo do we have any Italian out, uh, people out there that can help us with this seemingly this is supposedly meaning man or masculine in Italian uh, you know maybe I need to go find some Italian people to be like Omo huh exactly Probably not. But guys, that's basically about it. Uh, so let's see what the heck it smells like, guys. This is going to be the Sergio or Sergio Ticini Uomo um, fragrance uh, slash cologne for men. I kind of smell it through the box. It's like one of those weird uh soapy type fragrances i mean this thing obviously is supposedly discontinued i mean it, it looks busted absolutely busted you see those spots absolutely flipping ridiculous oh my gosh guys let's check it out that's the inside of it it doesn't look all too bad especially on the camera I mean, seemingly, it looks pretty classy, right? I mean, what the heck is going on with that? Wow, that's an interesting, interesting smell, guys. My gosh. All right, guys, let's pull it out. Wow. And this guy most certainly screwed me. Oh, wow. This is terrible. Absolutely flipping horrific. Unless the dang box absolutely like, uh, or, or the cologne leaked out. I mean, this this kid sold me like uh, two thirds of a bottle of flipping cologne for a full price. Can you imagine that? What a jerk! But guys, that's basically it. I mean, look at that. That looks absolutely flipping amazing, though. 
people are probably thinking to themselves, kid, you probably got that straight from your your uh, mom and dad's wardrobe and just wanted to start doing uh, cologne reviews. That's a pretty good idea. That is a pr <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. I mean, the, the bottle itself, I mean, it looks fairly classy, guys. I mean, not all too, you know, uh, crazy with the style and so on and so forth. But the silver and the glass and the black, I mean, it, it looks fairly classy. What do you guys think about that? Pretty cool? Pretty classy? I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't know. This is a supposedly a 96 uh, fragrance, guys. Can you imagine that? Absolutely old as dirt. Check that out. Look at that. Flipping amazing. But this guy is an absolute jerk uh, for sending us a, a two-thirds bottle uh, for full price. I mean, what type of what type of junk is that, bro? You know? Alright. We're, we're getting it right now. It smells... It smells like a soapy, musky type uh, bomb without the bomb. Because when I say bomb, it kind of it kind of reminds me of some sort of bold um, type thing, you know, kind of like a dark smell. Let's check it out, guys. We we have to sniff it. Let's do one here and and three here, right? No, let's do, let's do one here and two here. I, I think that was probably two, but this two shall pass. How, how much was that, bro? All right, let's do one more. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God, Sergio Ticini, you shouldn't have. Wow, this is um it's it's like kind of piney but not piney enough. It's like right before you get like a full blown pine, it just gets taken away. It just gets absolutely taken away. It's like smelling a it's like smelling a piece of pine wood, you know, like a piece of pine. And right before you understand it's a piece of pine, it just gets absolutely taken away. Pine without the pine. Woody without the woody. I can probably pick up the little citrus type thing that they were yakking about, but uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of like one of those uh, complex type colognes, but it's just so kind of watered down that you just can't really put a flipping thing to it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This right here is probably like an everyday type frag. Uh, which you can probably get away with from like January to the end of December. Of course, if, you know, people let you and so on and so forth. This right here isn't going to probably uh, turn off anybody. And it's probably a few clicks away from being uh, full blown, like kind of one of the top designer type things. It's like these people wanted to be top designer, but they just put a little bit too much water uh, in their uh, juice, if that makes sense. Does anybody uh, understand what the heck I'm talking about? It's like Sergio Ticini uh, was like right there with the top designer, you know, cologne people. And he was like, eh, let's put a little bit extra water in this. So we 100% uh, don't make it. That's kind of what I'm picking up. I mean, it's most certainly not a bad fragrance, guys, uh, slash cologne. Uh, you know, it's not probably going to turn off anybody. 
you know, you can probably uh, go out to like maybe like, you know, your friends, you know, like like gentlemen's uh, night out and so on and so forth and be like, yeah, I got the Sergio Ticini on, you know, I'm 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 cool, buddy. I'm I'm all right. Uh, you can maybe even use it as like some sort of like, you know, maybe a date night type thing. I don't think it's going to be 100 percent like the quote unquote date night. You know, would your uh, would your uh, hopeful lady friend. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, you know, if, if you're out with your boys, uh, maybe you're playing cards, you know, maybe you're, you know, out and about maybe at a club, so on and so forth. This would probably be uh, A-OK to wear. I mean, this would probably be pretty proper, you know. Nothing all too heavily uh, extensive and, and offensive. And, uh, you know, you might be like, hey, what's up, buddy? How, how the hell are you? So on and so forth type thing. So absolutely not 100%, you know, off-putting like, whoa, bro, you are too uh, flipping uh, cool for me. You can get away with it probably from January uh, to December, but given the state of the fact that it's just really, really light, and I'm guessing the longevity or the longevity is probably not as uh, you know potent as one of the darker frags like our buddy our Muff and uh, maybe even the Mont Blanc. Because I think the Mont Blanc, even though it was kind of like, you know, one of those summer uh, spritzers, it might actually have a little bit more, you know, quote unquote juice in it uh, than our buddy Sergio uh, Ticini. But I mean, I'm not 100% anti this right here. I mean, this right here, you know, if I wanted to uh, grade it or give it a, uh, a number from 1 to 10, I would give it a proper, and I do mean 100% proper, uh, 4 out of 10. Absolutely proper 4 out of 10. And people are probably like, buddy, you just gave the flipping uh, Sergio Ticini a 4 out of 10. That absolutely sucks. Guys, it's not just a 4 out of 10. It's a proper uh, 4 out of 10. It's an absolute... Uh, proper four out of ten that's the best way i can obviously describe it i mean i'm telling you it's, it's really not that bad and uh i mean for you know the the guys night out and so on and so forth uh you can probably uh get away with it and you'll be good to go and uh with this you might actually uh be able to uh find yourself a future uh date which is like a proper Four out of ten. Shout outs to Ric Flair, wherever the hell he's at. But guys, that's basically about it. Would I buy it again? Ugh, I don't know. It's a discontinued thing from all the way from 96. Uh, so chances are I probably won't be able to buy it again all too much. Uh, unless I can flip and find it. Uh, for the price point of around 10 to uh, $12, I mean, guys, you can probably pay that for some crappy axe that, uh, you know, the wind can blow off your, your uh, you know, what, wherever, uh, you know, 30 minutes down the line. And for a couple of dollars more, you can you can get the Sergio Ticini uh, Uomo or however the heck you say it in Italian. So, I mean, for around 10 to 12 bucks, I might be uh, feeling compelled to buy this bad boy again. Uh, you know, just because of the fact that it's not really off-putting and uh, it's kind of like one of those gentlemen uh, type uh, colognes that every guy needs. Uh, because, guys, I mean, it's hard out there, uh, you know, to find a quote-unquote gentleman's cologne. Uh, you know, I mean, the arm off is just like one of those slobber knocker you know, heavy uh, type uh, Club de Nuit bombs that are just like, man, you are like just too flipping, you know, uh, chunky right now, you know. <laughs> and the Mont Blanc is kind of like, buddy, you are just too, uh, you know, Mont Blanc-ish. 
the Sergio Ticini, it's like, guys, let's go out and have a good flipping time and do what the heck we got to do and, uh, you know, be uh, men. And that's what it is. I mean, it's absolutely flipping amazing. And uh, that's why I give this bad boy right here a proper, and I do mean proper, 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 all day, guys. 4 out of 10. Anyways, if you've ever tried the Sergio Ticini Umo, which uh, seemingly means man in Italian, let us know in the comments below. If you've tried any of the other Sergio Ticini brands uh, other than this bad boy right here, let us know in the comments below. But guys, for a $10 to $12 frag, this is not bad at all. This is the quote-unquote more uh, gentleman cologne that men need to have uh, in their collection. You know, point blank, you know. Because guys, I mean, you know, I have a bunch of flipping colognes right now, and, and a lot of them are just like, oh, my gosh, that is just absolutely funky. You know, it's like might as well just, you know, take a flipping shower and just, you know, smell, you know, like that. Because, I mean, these other things are just like, pfft. this right here, guys, is is more or less, uh, you know, the more proper way uh, to smell. It's, it's like one of those cleaner smells, uh, you know, a masculine scent that uh, isn't going to off-put anybody. And, uh, you know, you might actually find yourself a flipping date, uh, which is, you know, a, a positive thing for, well, maybe not now, but hopefully in the, in the foreseeable, <laughs> foreseeable future. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you absolutely hate this flipping video, please hit that dislike button. Please subscribe to the flipping channel. If you don't, uh, that's going to suck mostly for you because i mean this content is obviously going to keep on going if the good lord permits and that's just the way it is anyways till next time guys this is an absolute amazing gentleman's cologne proper four out of ten sergio ticini uh all day buddy absolute flipping amazing shout outs to sergio uh ticini the guy from ebay well he can cut a check uh, but that's basically about it, guys. Until next time, you already know what time it is, and uh, you know the drill. Love, peace, and please quit spreading that disease. Adios, guys. Adios.